Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn about the two main ways to collect data, by taking surveys and doing experiments. Imagine you're trying to find out your classmates favourite apps, some say YouTube, some say Snapchat, and others love Spotify. But how do you collect this information in an organised way? That's where surveys and experiments come in. Let's explore how they work and try a few practical examples too. Surveys involve asking people questions to gather information. They're useful for finding out opinions, preferences or common habits. Imagine you want to find out some information about music preferences from your classmates. Write down three questions you could ask. For example, 1. What is your favourite music genre? 2. How many hours a day do you listen to music? 3. Do you prefer listening to music while studying? Once you've collected answers, organise them into a simple table like this. You can answer the following question. Which genre is the most popular? Now that was too easy. It's time to move on to experiments. Experiments are a bit different from surveys. They are all about testing something to observe what happens and they help us find cause and effect relationships. Here's how to set it up. 1. Divide your participants into two groups. Second, group A studies with music, while group B studies in silence. 3. Give both groups the same quiz and compare their scores. Before starting, make a prediction. Which group do you think will do better? Write it down. Then once the experiment is done, record the results like this. What did you find? Did your prediction match the results? Your results are the data that you collected. How do you know which data collection method works best? Let's try a quick challenge. Imagine you want to find out the most effective way to learn math by watching videos or reading books. Would you use a survey or an experiment? Take a moment to decide. If you chose a survey, you could ask people what they prefer and why. If you chose an experiment, you could have one group learn by watching videos and another group by reading books, then test their understanding afterward. Both methods give you valuable information, but the one you choose depends on your question or hypothesis. More examples. To find out the most popular dessert in your family, you would use a survey and record their answers in a table. To find out which paper airplane design flies the farthest, you would carry out an experiment, test both designs three times and record the distances. Tips for collecting data. 1. Be clear about what you want to know so the results can be accurate. 2. Make survey questions simple and unbiased. 3. Change only one variable at a time for experiments. 4. Record your results carefully. You've learned the main techniques for collecting data like a statistician, someone who analyzes and interprets data to help solve problems. By doing this, you can help us make better decisions and answer questions about the world around us. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Fuse School for more exciting lessons on statistics and beyond.